Scooter here, contributing editor for Woods Monkey Online Magazine. Today I'm going to show you how to tie a trucker's hitch knot, which is really nice for making a ridge line in a tarp setup when you're camping, or a clothesline. Uh, get a couple between a few trees, one can be the ridge line, one can be clothesline, or if you want to, for whatever reason, bring a couple trees closer together, I'll show you the double trucker's hitch that gives you a four to one mechanical advantage. You can literally move things together with this knot. So we got our span of trees here. Let's say I'm going to put a tarp right here between these two trees. First thing I want to do is tie a small loop and get my cord started around this tree. And you can use a multitude of knots. I prefer the bow line myself. Can you close up on this here? I'll get you. I'm sure most of you know how to tie a bow line, but I'm going to show you real quick. You turn on the ignition. Rabbit goes through the hole around the tree, back down through the hole, and it should look something like that. And there's two ways real quick on a bow line. You see how my tag end is inside the circle. You can tie it this way, it'll hold no problem. But now you have this little thing that might interfere with what you have this around. You can do this as well. Same thing, turn on the ignition. Rabbit goes through the tree, or up, excuse me, up through the hole, around the tree the other direction and back down through the hole. And now your tag line is on the outside. As far as strength, it doesn't matter. But as far as neatness, or you make, you wanna make sure that this line doesn't get pushed by something in here, you can tie it either way. Makes no difference. So, pull that nice and tight. All I'm doing is pulling the line through it. end of our tree we're going to use. So come away from whatever your other object is, I don't know, 10 to 12 inches. We're going to do uh, something similar to the bow line. I'm going to turn on the ignition and we're going to reach down the hole, and pull the rabbit out, make a little slip knot, just like so. Right. We'll take our cord through that slip knot. Get the jagger bushes and the leaves out of our cord here. And now we have a two to one mechanical advantage. So instead of you wrapping your cord around both trees and just trying to pull it this way, this is a lot easier to pull and it makes the line a lot tighter. So once you have this, you'll take some extra cord around that taunt line, down through the hole, and now you have cinched it off. Let me get this out of here. <clears throat> so once you have that, it, it'll hold. Personally, if I was using this as a ridge line for my tarp, I would take this and tie a backup knot, just a half hitch, or just, a, excuse me, an overhand knot, just like that to make sure that this isn't gonna come undone on you in the middle of the night. Or one of your buddies comes and pulls the quick release cord and drops your house on you. Or you grab it by accident and pull it yourself while you're sleep dreaming. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to show you the double trucker hitch with a four to one mechanical advantage. Let's get this undone. See how that pulls out nice and easy too because we've got a quick release on it. Okay, so instead of coming away your 8 to 12 or 10 to 12 inches, give yourself a little bit extra room. Tie your slip knot again. Up through like before. Okay, now approximately here, we're going to tie another slip knot. So we have another loop. Pull our cord through that. And now we have four to one mechanical advantage. I've just pulled this tree over with this little knot. This is just normal, not mill spec, but this is 550 cord, so it's pretty sturdy. Tie it off the same way. Just take a loop of that down over. <coughs> Lock it in. <coughs> Oops. And again, you can tie yourself a little overhand knot. 
to help secure that. It's even tighter now. This would be advantageous maybe if you have uh, even some big bulky rope or you got a lot of rope, you want to take up some slack, you have, you have a farther span so that one trucker hitch, you know, the time you get your slip knot tied and you're pulling it, you might run out of space. You're taking up the stretch in the line for one and just the sag of it. So you might want to do one even all the way up here, down do another one and have the two, the double trucker hitch just to uh, make it a little tighter. It depends on your span. This is a little overkill for this right here, so it's close together, but one, one would do it in this instance. But there's your double <coughs> with a backup. Scooter, contributing editor, Woods Monkey. Thanks for watching.